Culture Ministry wants to see organizations recognized. Two plead guilty to breaking and entering. Parfait Harmony to get to magistrate school. And Exxon Races production targets. And this is Uncut News. Do you see news happening? Send us a tip on WhatsApp at 592-659-6154. The Ministry of Culture, Youth and Sport has given the International Decade for People of African Descent Assembly Guyana one week to produce the organization's financial records, demanding them no later than September 5th, 2022. According to the ministry, Chagdeo's recent comments on the organization and its leadership have prompted them to take a closer look at their records as the ministry holds the firm position that the funds allocated to the group should benefit and empower as many Afro-Guyanese as possible, and that the ministry has an overarching public responsibility to ensure that public funds received by any entity are spent according to its intended objective. Starbrook News reports that the timeline for the completion of the CARICOM Regional Security System Review into Sergeant Bascom's allegations against the force has been extended after experiencing some issues. Without divulging details, Minister Ben said the media will be informed by way of a press release once the process is completed. Guyana's ambassador to China, An Yin Chu, recently noted that in 2021, bilateral trade volume between China and the Latin American region totaled about US $450 billion, with Guyana making close to $1 billion of that trade volume. The Guyanese diplomat said, quote, China is currently South America's trading partner and the second largest for Latin America as a whole. The LAC region is also the second largest destination for Chinese outbound investment, with more than 3,000 Chinese-funded enterprises operating in Latin America and the Caribbean, end quote. Quoting data from Chinese Customs, Ambassador Chu noted that Guyana's bilateral trade volume with China has increased 213% over the last five years, with an average annual growth rate of more than 42.5% against the backdrop of a global pandemic. Not bad. Now it's time to tell you about Best Buy's Car of the Week. Currently on sale, this is 2016 Suzuki Jimmy Sierra four-wheel drive. It comes with regular and low-range four-wheel drive, Bluetooth, mock rims, new tires, TV, CD, stereo, fog lamps, park camera, and much, much more. Buy cost for $3.4 million. Whole pay is lower $700,000 down with around $67,000 monthly for five years, and it is yours. Call or WhatsApp 662-0844 for more info. Or visit the showroom Zello 171, Pitoroshi, Queen Sound, Halatu, Lamashit. And South America sent you for this week's deal. A total of six bids have been submitted for the Quarantine River Bridge from five Chinese companies and one Dutch company. Among the Chinese bidders was China Harbor Engineering Company, the company that's currently building the airport, China Road and Bridge Corporation, China Gens Huba Group Company Limited in association with CEIG, China Overseas Engineering Group Company Limited in association with China Railway Uriyan Engineering Group Co. Limited and China Railway First Group Co. Limited. China Railway Construction Caribbean Company Limited and China Railway Construction was another Chinese bid that was submitted. Meanwhile, Dutch company Ballast Needham was the lone non Chinese company that submitted a bid for the project. On Monday, 23 year old Ravindra Singh and 23 year old Kevin Kush, both of Herstelling Sidam East Bank Demerora, were charged with two counts of breaking and entering. They pleaded guilty and were sentenced to 59 months' imprisonment on the first charge. On the second charge, however, Singh pleaded guilty and was sentenced to 24 months in prison, which will run consecutively with the previous sentence, whilst Kevin Kush pleaded not guilty and bail was refused. They both are expected back in court on October 28th. This morning, gold miner Cleve Vaughn Hamilton denied his involvement in the murder of his common-law wife, Simone Hackett, in 2016. While his co-accused, Rana Chal Singh, pleaded not guilty to murder, he instead pleaded guilty to the lesser count of manslaughter. Hackett's family reported her missing after she never returned home from picking up a package Hamilton reportedly sent to her from Mardia. Her body was found two days later in a canal on the East Coast. Singh's sentencing was deferred to September 26, while Hamilton's trial will commence next Monday. On Wednesday, 50-year-old cosmetologist Jennifer Williams was released on $150,000 bail after being charged with a cybercrime violation. She was accused of posting false information about him in a series of social media posts in late 2021. 
Williams pleaded not guilty to the charge. She will be back in court on September 14th. Your home is your most valuable asset. So before you sign on the dotted line, call PJS Home Inspections. They are a licensed and insured home inspection company with professionals operating in the Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, Long Island, and Westchester County. From electrical and plumbing issues to a leaky roof. If there's a fault in the house, VJS will find it using the latest industry technology, including infrared scanners, HD drones, and more. So if you're buying or selling a home in New York, make the smart choice. Call VJS Home Inspections at 914-513-9356 and tell them Noriko sent you. According to Kai Cher News, 60-year-old butcher Ram Paul Mohan left his home on Saturday to visit his sister in Georgetown, only to drop dead just one corner away from her house. However, his family only learned of his demise yesterday, as they had reported him missing. According to the family, when the police received the report, they were asked to identify the body of a man who had collapsed on Sheriff Street on Saturday evening. It was indeed Mohan. An autopsy ruled that Mohan had died of a heart attack. Construction is set to begin next year on a magistrate's court for one of Guyana's largest housing schemes, Parfait Harmony, on the west bank of Demerara. They have already allocated a plot of land adjacent to the recently completed Parfait Harmony police station for the court. Next year, new magistrate's courts are also expected to be built at Friendship and Tamiri on the east bank of Demerara and Anna Regina on the Esquivel coast. The Ministry of Housing is giving 16 squatters at Blairmont Region 5 a six-month extension to complete their relocation. The Ministry had given them house lots in the nearby Balthyok housing scheme in October of last year, and they agreed to relocate by January of this year. After that, a second notice was served, giving them up to July. So far, only three persons have relocated. According to them, they would like to move, but they cannot afford to do so as yet. So, they were given another six months to pack up and move. Are you a truck owner? Pay close attention. Avoid lengthy downtime when your truck broke down. Get high-quality Duff, International, Freightliner, Bedford TM, or Scammel truck parts at the lowest prices at Powered Automotive. Visit them at lot 1161 EE Eccles or call them on telephone number 6970171. Save big on truck parts at Powered Automotive, the number one heavy-duty truck parts store in Guyana. After a 13-year hiatus, ferry service has returned to Fort Island on the Esquibo River. This follows the construction of an $82 million stelling on the island. In addition to being the home of about 90 Guyanese, Fort Island is home to Fort Zealandia and the Court of Policy, a Dutch heritage museum. Adults pay $100 from Perica to Fort Island and children $60. For adults from Bartica to Fort Island, it will cost $420 and $220 for children. A fire of unknown origin struck three houses in Agricola, East Bank Demerara this afternoon. One of the buildings was completely gutted, while the other two were partially damaged by the blades. No injuries or fatalities were reported. Now for today's oil update. ExxonMobil's fifth development in the Snarker block, Uaru, is set to target three reservoirs, Uaru, Mako, and Snook. The Snook discovery was announced in March of 2017. Norway's Rystad Energy estimates a resource count of 461 million barrels of oil. Larger discoveries sufficient to warrant their own oil platforms would be Triple Tail, Long Tail, Snook, Hammerhead, Ranger, and Pluma, Rystad Energy said. Nevertheless, the Uwaru development project is targeting 275 barrels of oil per day, the highest production capacity of any FPSO planned for the Starbuck block thus far. First oil could be achieved as early as the fourth quarter of 2026. It might not be robbery season, but the streets are still mean. That's why you need to get security for your home and business through Sheriff Security Service. Sheriff Security offers well-trained guards, armed and unarmed patrol, marine patrol, canine services. These people even got drones. Why? Because your security is their highest priority. You've seen the rest. Now hire the best. Hire Sheriff Security Service today. Now for our uncut news, viewers poll question of the day. Every day we pose a question about current events in Ghana, the region, the diaspora, and how you feel it relates to us. Last night, I asked what other ways the government can help the common person make ends meet aside from temporary jobs and handouts. Lash says, by spending on capacity building in the economy to lower the cost of living. Hear me out. Any economist worth a grain of salt knows that if you increase supply in the economy, average prices for all goods and services in said economy drops. By increasing the supply potential of Guyana's economy, the cost of living drops, allowing the small man to afford the things they need to get by. All these handouts just contributing to local inflation. Come on, government. This is basic economics. 
And yet our economy is being guided by an economist. Irony upon all ironies. And Navendra Lowell says, to cut the burden on our poor Guyanese people, I think the government should cut one of our bills, like water or electricity. Well, that would be nice. So before we get to tonight's question, you can multiply your cash by selling ginger cell top up. This is a legit way you can earn some extra money at your business or to supplement your current hustle. Become a top vendor quick and easy by linking with Cellular Plus. Call them on telephone number 685-3109 for more info. Now for tonight's question. I want to know, how do you feel about China's growing influence in the region? Do you think it's a good thing, a bad thing, or is it just a little bit of both? I want you to think about that question. Tell us in the comments below. If your response is good enough, we just might feature it in our next episode. Anyway, that's all the time we have for tonight. So check us out tomorrow for another. Until then, I'm Rico Bullford saying goodnight, folks.